Anyway, finally, there's been no shortage of Republicans blasting President Obama for not believing in the idea of American exceptionalism, which I believe in, by the way. The question is, what has the president done or even said to bring on the attacks? Well, the most recent issue of New York Magazine did some digging and paired up some of what we've actually heard from the president with what Republicans have thrown at him. Take a listen. Michelle and I had the chance to succeed beyond our wildest dreams. We're only here because somebody passed on this this incredible notion, this this exceptional American idea that it doesn't matter where you come from. Those in the White House today don't believe they don't believe in American exceptionalism. If you are for American exceptionalism, you're us. If you're for European socialism and Saul Alinsky radicalism, you're with Barack Obama. My entire career has been a testimony to American ex- exceptionalism. This has all got to do with a foreign policy led by a president who does not believe in American exceptionalism. I'm pretty certain I don't see that same level of uh, willingness to uh, assert that the United States is indeed exceptional. The United States has been and will always be the one indispensable nation in world affairs. One of the many examples of why America is exceptional. I'm convinced he wants Americans to be, Americans to be ashamed of success. What makes us exceptional? What makes us great is not just how many skyscrapers we have. It's not how powerful our military is. What makes us special is this idea that in this country, if you are willing to work hard, if you're willing to take responsibility for your own life, then you can make it if you try. And that's why people like this guy. Anyway, see what I mean? It's all part of the never-ending effort to convince Americans out there that the president is some combination of foreign ideas, socialism, and otherness. And the list of that crap goes on and on. You heard him. Let him speak for himself, ladies and gentlemen.